Good day to you. My name is Maria Kondzielska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Today we take you for a journey through self-development and a help for marriages and families because with us is an expert. Father Jay, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. In the previous episode we talked a little a lot about um, many different the mindset, the health set, the soul set and the Hearts. heart set. So different aspects of our self-development and how what, who should be become in order also to be a good spouse to be a good husband to be a good wife to be to be um, also a good parent in in our life and uh, this uh, leads you to uh, the workshops and um, everything what you as a priest are doing for families and this is called compass compass mm. for life mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about it uh, yes, as I mentioned, we have 12 different areas. We start with health and fitness, and then uh, intellectual life, and then emotional life, etc., etc. But the important is that in every area we work with, uh, again, four elements. I don't know why the four is so important, maybe four Gospels, but, but this is um, it's, um, my beliefs, my, uh, my vision in this area, my strat my motivation and my strategies so we also we have four elements so okay the vision beliefs the beliefs beliefs and then the vision yes. and then motivation and then strategy how i like to implement this vision into daily life so i spent years really years lecturing at the university for 27 years and I, I met a lot of students and I met a lot of couples when I work with them. And I found the most important, the crucial one, it's my belief. For example, um, my goal for my intellectual life was to, to learn daily foreign language. And I also took a very special course uh, uh, at the, some institutes to help with the, with the languages. And the reaction of some of my friends was, are you kidding? You are 60 years old. You are too old to learn new languages. So that's the belief. Yes. My belief, my memory, is my, it's like muscle. If you train, if you use, it will serve you. If you do not use your memory, um, like, like the muscles to train, you will never learn a language. Learning languages is an amazing thing and uh, communicating with people, just saying just one word, some few, small sentence, but in the in language, a foreign language makes absolutely. everybody you know, smiling, oh, thank you, I know this is hard for you to learn, but it's amazing that you still learn to, to communicate in, in our own language. For example, and with you traveling all over the world, especially, like, <laughs> so um, it's easier. Mexico and America, and also it's easier. But also, I would say it gives more pleasure well, than when you can at least, in, uh, I mean, say hello to those people in in Spanish or in, yeah. Everybody likes to French. be uh, to be like to listen something to be greet in, yeah, at least in, with in this language. For example, if I. When I was uh, turning to my 25th uh, priesthood anniversary, I was looking for something, you know, something special, go big or go home. So like, okay, how I can celebrate my 25th anniversary of being a priest? I said, well, it's uh, 25 years, it's something, but uh, also to work more 25 years, another 25 years, you need to be really healthy and, and strong, especially if you travel. Um, I before pandemic, I checked my calendar. Uh, I had a meeting with my my classmate from the primary school. So, what, so how's your life? Uh, what happened to you? So he told me, oh, you know, I work a lot. I travel a lot. I spent 150 days uh, traveling because of business. I said, oh, crazy! How your wife could accept this? 150 days. You're crazy. You are not living at home. You are living in the in the hotels. I came back home and took my calendar, and I checked. I spent 253 days on travel. On travel. <laughs> well, at least you don't have a wife. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's the beauty of celibacy because you'll be not killed by your spouse. You know, you have oh, yeah. to stay home. So that's that the, the reason. So. You need to be to be healthy. You need to be strong to travel a lot. So I said, well, I think that training and running a marathon 
uh, will be a good uh, Goal and challenge. challenge for 25th anniversary. Uh, and again, um, friends of mine, are you crazy? You are too old. Also, it's a belief. So we have beliefs, and because of, of these beliefs, we can create our vision. And just to wrap up this episode, did you manage to do this? Yeah, I ran uh, four full marathons and one half four marathon. Full four full marathons. Full marathons. Well, yeah. perfect. That's, I would say, an example for you, all of us, in a way, if you want to celebrate some... 25th twi anniversary of 25th, your relationship. <laughs> yeah. 25th anniversary of being a priesthood or a relationship or anything else. Running a marathon is always a huge challenge, but I would say it opens up uh, our life and our mindset in some ways uh, that um, it's never too late for anything and as the example of father jay and of course he stay with us for another episode because we'll develop a little bit more at, about compass for life his program for marriages and families and again thank you very much for watching put on daily culture